this is the two-wheel gear magnet pannier messenger backpack and I'd like to tell you about it. Hey everyone, welcome to Wheels on the Bike. I'm Agnieszka. I'm a year-round cycle commuter in Toronto, Canada and I ride in all weather conditions. As a result, I expect my bags to perform and it's with that lens that I'm going to be reviewing this magnet pannier messenger backpack. Before I jump into the pros and cons, let me go over some specs. This is a large bag with a 24 liter capacity. In terms of dimensions, it's 18 inches across, 13 inches in height, and seven or eight when loaded inches in width. This bag can carry a lot of things. The material is ripstop nylon with a waterproof coating. Because the seams are not sealed, this bag is not waterproof, but it does come with a waterproof cover. It has two handles, one on this side and one on the other side. It also comes with a water bottle pocket. You can use this bag in three different ways. Of course, as the pannier, that's its primary functionality. You can also wear it as a backpack and a messenger bag. The mounting system on this pannier is the click fix compact system and it does include an extra strap at the bottom of the pannier to hold the bag in place when riding. At the time of filming, this product retails for 220 Canadian dollars and it comes with a two year warranty. All right, let's get to the good stuff. What do I think about this bag? The pros and the cons. First things first, I love the large storage capacity. I mentioned 24 liters, that is a lot. Let me show you what I carry on a typical commute. In the laptop compartment, I carry, surprise, surprise, a laptop. Now this bag can accommodate a 17 inch laptop. Neither one of mine are that large. And so I have ample room to add any other electronics I may wish to add in this pocket. In the main compartment, I carry a change of clothes, my cosmetics and any tools and there's still lots of room left for other items like groceries. In the front pocket, I have many little knickknacks and I also appreciate having this keychain to hold all my keys. In the front facing pocket, I carry grocery bags. So lots of organization options available in this bag. The second thing I appreciate about this bag is how quickly it converts from a pannier to a backpack. And these are really the only two modes I've used this bag in. All you do is unfold the top flap and zip it up. Then you unzip the strap compartment zipper, pull the straps out of the pocket and attach them to the lower D-rings. I've been using this bag throughout the winter season and in the winter I wear gloves and a design feature that I really have appreciated are these zipper pulls. Zippers, YKK zippers, so super smooth, but these pull tabs have allowed me to use the bag in cold weather outside with gloves on. This bag has one more pocket and it's a little secret compartment at the bottom of the bag. And that compartment is designated for this waterproof cover. I mentioned that this bag is not fully waterproof because the seams are not sealed and this high visibility waterproof cover is included but there is a but about this as well and I will address it later on in the video. This is the very first bag I've had with the click fix compact mounting system. What's great about it is that these hooks work on just regular bikes and also e-bikes. As you know, I ride an e-bike as my primary commuter and with my previous panniers, I had to replace the hooks on that system because they didn't fit my e-bike. This mounting system is adjustable and you simply press down on the button at the top here to be able to move these hooks left and right. Mounting the pannier on a rack is quite easy. You place the pannier on the rear rack and you secure it with the red latch. You then secure the strap at the bottom of the pannier to keep the bag close to the rack and prevent any movement. All right, let's get to the cons, shall we? First things first, this bag is not waterproof. And while it does come with this waterproof cover, this waterproof cover is not custom designed for this bag. Let me demonstrate the issue. When installed, this waterproof cover does not provide adequate protection to the back of the pannier. Now this is where the pannier interfaces the wheel. 
And you can only imagine what happens with a lot of splash, with a lot of debris coming off the wheel. All of that debris gets caught between this waterproof cover and the back of the pannier. Interestingly, as part of its design, this waterproof cover does have a drain hole in it. So perhaps two-wheel gear already accounts for this issue happening. There is another way I can mount this cover that provides a little bit more protection to this back area. Let me show you that right now. When I install this cover in an upside down position, and I'm basing this off of how the logo displays on the cover itself, then I do get a lot more coverage at the back of the pannier, which is great. However, this introduces another issue in that I am now no longer able to secure the bottom strap that's part of the mounting system on the bike. Unfortunately, this bag has leaked on me on a number of occasions. I just took out clothing from my bag and it is wet. And as a result, two-wheel gear does offer a wet sack that they made available to me as well. Now, this wet sack is fabulous because it keeps water out or it keeps wet materials in, but really, I much, much would prefer if the bag itself was waterproof in the first place. Something else that ends up happening is debris gets caught in the pocket that is created by this flap and the back of the pannier. The third issue I've noticed, and it's more of a visual concern than a functional one, is the warping of the back panel. This is a very large bag. It's a wide bag. The click fix mounting system, it's a compact mounting system. It's quite narrow in comparison. And I believe because of that, and because the back panel, the plastic is not rigid enough, that creates warping. Now, I have spotted another rider in Toronto that uses a previous design iteration of this bag, and he's also had the same issue with the bag. Again, this has not had any impact on the functionality of this bag at this point, but I've only had the bag for four months, so it, it remains to be seen as to whether this warping contributes to any limitations in the future. What do you think about this bag? What are the pros and the cons to you based on what I've just shared? Also, have you ever purchased a bag that was designed specifically for commuting? I haven't. I typically buy panniers that are designed with touring in mind and then I of course use them for my commuting purposes as well. So this is the first bag for me that is a commuter bag. If you're watching and you own this bag or a previous iteration of this bag, let us know in the comments how you like it. What are the pros and the cons for you? that are specific to using this bag. And as usual, thank you very much for watching. Comment, like, share, subscribe, do all the YouTube things. I appreciate your time and I will see you in the next one. Bye.